boxes have been arriving, you know, due to COVID-19. It's been taking forever for my stuff to arrive for my spring summer haul. So first is this cute little rainbow number. Um, the shoes were 45 and the purse was 50 out of like um, some local boutique. I don't remember the name, I'm sorry. But I really like it. I think I'm gonna put on a pair of cute jeans, maybe like a white, I've been thinking about a pink bodysuit or a pink wife beater with it and some chunky jewelry. Just something cute that I'd wear to church. Okay, next girls is essential for the summer. It's a cute makeup bag because I have car makeup and then I have home makeup. My car makeup is the stuff that keeps my face looking refreshed and clean and cute and keeps my makeup intact for my meetings throughout the day. So I'm gonna utilize this um, and it looks like it'll get messy, but when you actually look at it, it wipes clear um, and clean with no problems. I got it from Target. To be honest with you, I am one of those Target kind of girls. So when I buy stuff from Target, I don't even look at the price pretty much, just being honest. Um, I think the bag was $14.99, but I don't remember. I'll double check though. Okay, this next pair is super, super cute. Um, I am gonna wear it with a black body dress. I've been looking and I haven't necessarily found anything yet, but I'm thinking that or either I'll get a black like jumpsuit, something fitted, something sleek so that the shoes can show off. And then I also have the black hat coming. I'm just waiting on Shoe Dazzle. They're taking four. Now these booties are from Shoe Dazzle. They were 45. Um, I have a love hate relationship with shoe dazzle so some stuff you'll hear me go crazy over and say how much i loved it and other stuff not so much this was definitely a hit with them they did an amazing job with these shoes the quality is like macy's level quality like the leather is thick there's padding on the inside of the shoe um it's just a really really good buy um, I was a little hurt because after I bought them, they went down to $19.99. But I guess that's what, you know, that's the game with Shoe Dazzle nowadays. But this was a really, really good find. And I have been waiting six months to wear these shoes. So hopefully, quarantine will be over soon. Have you ever fell in love with a pair of shoes? These shoes was like, sis, psst, psst, sis, hey, come here, girl, sis, you didn't have a bad day, I'm here now. These shoes were $50, um, local boutique, I am all about the small business, so I apologize for any small business owners that I bought your stuff and I don't remember, DM me and I'll tag you in the video. But right now I'm bonding with my shoes. I love these shoes, like it is bad. I've been waiting almost six months to wear these shoes because it was too cold when I bought them and then we went into quarantine shortly afterwards. So like, can I just be great? Can I just get like a 30 inch weave, some green contacts, a full beat face of makeup with some stretched jeans and some pedicured feet and put these, these shoes on? Like, can I just have a moment, sis? Can I just have a moment, please? And before anyone says it's not that deep, it is. I sent my oldest to voicemail when I was shopping for these shoes because me and the shoes were having a moment like we're having right now. Isn't she pretty? She is amazing. She is gonna go perfect with a dark brown Gucci bag and some amazing jeans. Just wait. Okay, girls, so this shoe is unique because I have really big feet, but I live for a nude heel. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna put on some type of super long um, bell-bottom pant to make this look cute. I'm not really sure. Like, I'm, I'm really not sure how this is gonna work out but these were only, I think they were 36, 
$4.99. Um, local boutique, kind of cute. You know, they're not too comfortable, to be honest with you. But they are cute, and they do get the job done. They feel like they look super big, because I have big feet. Um, off of me, but on me, because I'm so tall, it balances my body out, and it looks more normal than off my foot. So I'm going to give it another try and maybe wear a dress with it and see what happens. Now these are what I call filler shoes. These are those $10 little sandals you get from the beauty supply or from like rainbows or something like that just to keep it going. I think these were two for like $20 at rainbows, but they were, they're super cute. They're comfy. And I think that um, I think that they'll actually work for like my sundresses and stuff on those days where I don't want to be a supermodel, which is rare, let me say, which is rare because I live to look cute. But um, I'm thinking, I'm really, really thinking that um, in comparison to some of the stuff I got at Shoe Dazzle, I got cheated because these are comfortable. They were super cheap. And I won't care if the strap breaks. Like, it doesn't matter because it's a cheap, comfy shoe. So we'll see. Okay, guys. So um, I know these are super, super cheap. But I live for a good bargain. I love it. Um, these are actually my beach shoes. So I can, when I take my family to the pool this summer, I'm not walking around barefoot. And I'm able to have a good white toe. Like when the quarantine is over, I'm totally going to get a white pedicure that I'll be maintaining every other week because I want to need my polish changed to keep it looking crispy and white. Um, nobody likes a dingy white toe. Ugh. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a white smock sheer cover up that goes with these shoes. So when I'm in mom mode and I with my daughter, hey Drea. I'm with her and I can't have all my um, my thickums out, my curves. I can put on a nice smock and a white sheer smock over my bathing suit and feel comfy and cute. I can also wear this with my sons so that my, my 19 year old is gonna be a cop. And if I look too spicy with him, he's ready to kill somebody. So I have to keep it together. But I do like this shoe. This shoe was $6.99 at Rainbow. Can't be the $6.99 sandal that you can wear to the beach. Like this, these will go on my beach bag and I'll be able to keep them on. I hope you guys can see because the glare from outside, like my, my camera's doing something weird. So I apologize for that. Okay, so these came from Shoe Dazzle from my monthly showroom. And if you're not familiar with Shoe Dazzle, what they do is they send you based upon your taste a uh, um, complete room of all the shoes that may make you happy when I seen these shoes I flipped my grits I was just like oh my god those shoes are beautiful I have to have them because they look so blingy and so pretty on the website that I didn't even care like dude these shoes cost me $50 I'm pissed because if you look at the study, like I'm going to bring it closer to your face. If you look at it, that looks like it came out of the beauty supply. Number one, Shoe Dazzle. They have a dull look to them. Like they literally look dull. Let me pull the paper off so you can see what I'm talking about. So it doesn't have that white. Look at that. They just look like I wore them already. They're advertised in a way where they look so pretty and they're super blingy. Like literally, I am ordering bling from Michaels because look at the bow. There's gaps in the studs in the bow. And I know that 45 is not a lot for sandals. I have shoes that cost four times that. I'm not worried about the price. I'm worried about the quality. The quality is trash. And I buy so much stuff from Shoe Dazzle. You've seen a few shoes back. The, the booties I'm in love with. I didn't care what I spent. I don't have a price when I want something. I have a problem when the quality is trash and these shoes just aren't it. Like literally, when I get a moment, I'm taking them back to the post office, they have to go back. I don't even really want a vamp. Look at by the toe, look at the gaps. I'm 
mean, did they make my shoes when they were on their lunch break? Like, these look bad. I have beauty supply sandals that are, are better well crafted. And as you can see, these are shoe dazzle. Well, let me pull it back. These are shoe dazzle and they just, they missed the mark. I'm disappointed because I've never gotten something that was this bad in quality from shoe dazzle. I'm, I'm a loyal customer of theirs. I buy stuff regularly and I just never had this happen. I love the company, but these shoes are a miss. Okay, y'all, so my favorite thing came from Shoe Dazzle. They have partnered with Just Fab, and Just Fab is a pricier version of Shoe Dazzle that is also a subscription-based company, and they pretty much um, buy their overstock and make it clearance. This bag with Just Fab was $62.95. I paid $10 for this bag. 10 off of Shoe Dazzle. Shoe Dazzle, I applaud you. You almost redeemed yourself for those horrible bling shoes you sold me. But this bag right here, and guys, the matching hat, um, I ended up paying $5 for it. It hasn't arrived. So this is going to end up being my mom bag. Let me turn it this way. This bag is so freaking big and my camera is small. I'm still learning how to work this camera thing, but I'll definitely like insert pictures of each item so you can actually see what this stuff looks like so it'll make sense to you. Honey, honey, this bag is everything. It's huge. First of all, it's about 14 inches long. Then, look how deep it is. This is like the perfect, I'm fashionable, I'm cute, I'm a mom, amaze balls. Like, I can fit my Bible in here, my planner, my iPad. I can be a complete mom with this book. I can be, a, oh, with this bag, I can be a boss babe. And, you know, keep my entire mobile office in this bag um, if I need to. The only drawback is that it doesn't have a zipper, but I think a zipper would take away from this. Like it wouldn't be as popping as if it had a zipper, but I love this bag and you will too. Shoe Dazzle has it for nine, nine, for $10 right now. So literally they have low stock on it, but they have it. And I'm gonna tell you, get this bag. This bag is amazing. The quality is amazing. They have the matching hat on clearance as well. Like. I know everybody is Instagram rich, but I love a good bargain. And this is definitely one. This bag was $10, and the quality of this bag rivals some of my designer bags. It's really good quality. Like, it's really good quality. Like, this isn't cheap. This, this is nice. You can be proud to buy this and have this in a haul. And ladies, if your spouse is fussing about those Amazon boxes and about your shoe dazzle boxes, tell them it's $10 and it used to be $62. You can't argue with that. You can't. Well, that's it, ladies. That's the end of my haul. Hopefully, some of the other um, reviews that are coming are my Love Me Hair review, my... Um, I don't know what I just dropped. My lovely hair review is coming. Love me hair, excuse me, is coming. My um, Just Fab review is coming. Divine Your Love Boutique is coming. I have a Poshmark review coming. I got quite a few clearance reviews that are coming, but our, our um, mailing and postage, like our postal office is in like train wreck mode. So who knows when I'm gonna get this stuff. So I'm just trying to do it. As I have it so look forward I'll be posting every Sunday slash Monday by the end of the day Monday you'll have it if not at the earliest Sunday of our new videos like share and subscribe thank you for joining me